I've had an exciting time with the students of ASA, and this is the time we get to meet the head teacher here. And she's gifty. She's going to introduce herself personally, and then we get on with what inspired ASA as an academy. You're welcome, gifty. So let's just have a brief introduction of who you are. Thank you very much. So my name is Gifty Gansa. I'm the head teacher here at the African Science Academy. I've been here since March 2021. So my background is in math education. So I started in Ghana as um, a graduate in BD Mathematics from the University of Cape Coast and then did a couple of years of teaching. I was at Ghana Secondary School in the North in Ghana and then moved abroad. So spanning over a period of 18 years, I had worked in the United Kingdom as a teacher of math, FC head of math, head of math, um, being VP in charge of Sixth Form College and also other roles in senior leadership. My immediate role before I became head teacher here was vice principal in charge of behavior and attitudes in a school in South London. So while I think about inspiration, I want to acknowledge Dr. Tom Lube, the founder and chair of the African Gifted Foundation, whose vision um, we are pioneering, leading on here. So the inspiration stems from the need to empower young, gifted females across Africa in the field of STEM education with a vision of those young talents going back to more, like, more so to speak, to affect the transformational um, journey and changes um, within the continent in the area of STEM. Why, girls? We know that the, I mean, the scale is really not balance in terms of male and female ratios um, or proportions, so to speak, in the area of STEM. We know that it's been a male-dominated area for many, many years. It continues to be, but I'm, I'm quite pleased that we are now beginning to perhaps close the gaps quite slightly. And so the focus on girls was Tom's idea and passion of saying, how do we close this gap? How do we leverage these lovely opportunities, these gifts and talents lying around Africa? Um, and how do we harness those potentials? And hence, um, the focus on, on girls. OK, thank you. So when you join the African Science Academy, you are joining a community which understands the, the needs and the challenges of high achieving low income students. And so our courses here are fully funded. So when you get a place here, your tuition, everything absolutely is fully funded throughout your time and even goes on to fund for places in universities as well. So we take our students through a needs based analysis as part of our admissions process. So there's no issue or challenge with finances because you will have a fully funded program. Absolutely, I mean, a thousand and one success stories. I'm sure while you were entering our school, you would have seen our banner um, at the gates sharing our very proud success story of being the best GCAS and A-level school at the moment uh, across all the British Council schools um, in Ghana. And also, we, our girls go through the Cambridge International Curriculum, which is designed to be completed in two years, in 10 months. And that's an absolutely phenomenal achievement. Our girls also go on to study across Africa um, and across the world. Lots of success stories. We, we have educated over 150 students since the school started in 2016. So as you know, we started with a cohort of 25, a model taking 25 girls at a time. And then excitedly after, co after COVID, we had then increased to 40. We're looking to 50 in this new cohort that we're welcoming shortly in August of 2024. Our success stories continues. Um, even we've got girls in Columbia University at the moment who was part of the school's NASA project launch, I think last year or the year before. And, and, and many other stories, girls in University of Edinburgh, at Shesi University here, making lots of impact um, within Africa and across, across the globe, um, globally. We also, I want also, while I'm thinking about success stories, I want to 
emphasize on our girls participating in community service as well. So our girls get to go into primary schools in our neighborhood and they get to teach mathematics. And I think that's, that's wonderful. That's so those are just some of, of the stories. Yeah. Thank you very much for welcoming us into your space. We're looking forward to more things to do together in this partnership. YTV, yearn for more.